The Albuquerque parents who admitted to leaving their daughter in a bathtub before she died and then burying her are in more trouble. That's right. We've learned Monique Romero and David Zuber are back behind bars tonight. Here is News 13's Brittany Bay. Well, Dina Jess, according to police, the death of their one-year-old daughter, Anastasia, did not inspire Romero or Zuber to turn their lives around. Because we're not bad parents. The fact is, I buried her. Trash in interview tapes, David Zuber and Monique Romero zigzag their way through a convoluted confession, trying to explain to APD officers how their one-year-old daughter ended up face down and blue in their bathtub. I said, <laughs> Romero claims she left Anastasia and her two-year-old sister in the bathtub to go look for jobs on her cell phone, but later told police neither she nor Zuber could call 911 that December 2018 night because they could not find her phone. Oh yeah, let's just call APD now and be like, hey, two hours have gone by and I finally went to the gas station after not being able to find my phone and my, my child's gone. Zuber said he tried to revive his daughter. I did try to give her CPR. You did? Yes, sir. And I did for probably 30, 40 minutes. I tried. But realized she was gone and later told police where he buried her in the backyard. I was just so scared. I understand. I don't want child abuse against me. Both parents are awaiting trial for child abuse resulting in death, but were released by Judge Charles Brown, who did not run for re-election last year. I'm going to order the defendant released on his own recognizance. According to law enforcement, neither parent managed to stay out of trouble for long. Zuber is now facing federal drug charges. Court paperwork shows he was arrested by the DEA for trying to sell 50 grams of meth last October. He is still in federal custody. Romero is back behind bars too. Despite still being married to Zuber, court documents show Romero was engaged to another man. When he tried to break it off earlier this month, police say Romero stabbed him in the chest with a knife, possibly causing his lung to collapse. Romero originally only had the right to visit her surviving two children, but at some point, CYFD gave Romero custody of her young daughter once again. When Judge Brett Loveless was sending Romero back to jail after the alleged stabbing, he wrote, most concerning of the court is that Romero was living in a place where drug use was happening and weapons were present, as was her now five-year-old daughter. Now, Judge Loveless also said it is possible Romero stabbed her then fiance in self-defense because she was the victim of abuse. However, he still ruled she is a danger. No trial date has been set for Romero, but Zuber's trial is scheduled for March. Dean. All right, Brittany, thank you. We reached out to CYFD to find out why Romero regained custody of her daughter and what kind of supervision she was under. They did not answer our questions, only saying their goal is always to reunite children with their biological parents.